Here we go. I bet you wondered how I knew which hospital to choose. CMS, state stats. I know there's more than that. It took me by surprise, I must say. I found out yesterday. I heard it through the grapevine. What hospital was just fine? I heard it through the grapevine. It helped me make up my mind, honey, yes it did. And here's where the sobering part comes in. And I'll say this twice. We're marketing something that people don't want. We're marketing something that people don't want. How many people want a knee replacement in this room? <laughs> Thank you, Marshall. <laughs> and they may not need it for years. So to me, there's only two ways you market to that. It's first of all, you assure that they have an incredible experience so that they talk about it. The second thing is you have to figure out, for all those people who aren't interested in you, what is their interest? And how do you intersect their interests? And that's sort of part two of the discussion. Because you can't ignore them. Because they're your future patients if you build, start building the relationships now. And when you talk about the experience, not every experience has the same value. If I go to a supermarket and buy ground coffee beans, I could probably make my coffee for a couple pennies. If I go to Dunkin' Donuts, it might cost me a dollar something. They cost maybe 20 cents for them to make it. A little more in a diner. But why do we gladly go to Starbucks and pay, back, 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 three to five dollars for a cup of coffee? There you go. <laughs> it appeals to your self-image. That's right. I understand. That's right. Because going into a Starbucks is an experience. I've been driving my wife crazy. Uh, I've gotten all six seasons on DVD. So every night. When I go to bed, I watch at least two episodes, and she likes to get her sleep, and all she hears is, what's, what's the ghost? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> She's ready to shoot me, basically. <laughs> but here's the one thing about Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer has information, and he knows what to do with the information. He seemingly has the information before it exists, and he knows exactly what to do with it. When you have the information, you can do two things. You can create a better experience, and B, if you have the right information, you could target market better to your prospects. I started to cook. So, of course, you know, to really embrace this, I have to subscribe to Gourmet Magazine, right? <laughs> of course. And so look what Gourmet's asking me. They want to know if I'm an influencer. They want to know if people ask my advice or opinion on certain things, like places to eat. Sure, I eat out. Personal technology. Yeah, I'm a gadget guy. And I travel. Sure. They're also going to say, what else has gone on in your life? You going to do any of these things? And what are they doing? They're going to tailor their offering to me. Okay? It's no different with what you do. At the end of the day, what's it going to come down to? It's going to be about wowing the patient and having people talking about it. And the only way you're going to do that is making sure every part of the experience is consistent. Isn't that the ultimate question? Will you recommend this to others? So. Started with a song, have to end with a song. Now, would you recommend this to others? Sounds strangely like, will you still love me tomorrow? Okay. <laughs> Tonight, mom's ours completely. Bad food exposed, but no sleepy. If we pretend. To listen once again. Yeah, they're going to still recommend you tomorrow after that? She didn't come back for her follow up here. There were some things she said we didn't hear. The play she's going. They all talk about. Will you still love me 
Oh, you're sounding good.